Hi, my name is Tina Wilkowski. I own property in the campgrounds district of Jasper, which is a very financially depressed area. And I want to thank all of you for taking all of this so seriously. My background is in environmental health and I'm a microbiologist. This is serious. I worked in hospitals my whole life. And I'm not really worried about these people here. They're here because they're activists and they know what's going on. I'm worried about my neighbors who don't have phone, who don't have cable, who don't have, get a newspaper. A lot of them don't even know that this is going on. A bunch of us in the neighborhood went door to door informing people. And I think even side by side with trying to figure out what's going on in Valdosta, we need to get out to the public because I, I, I am so afraid when all this septic gets here, I worked in a pediatric hospital for years. I worked in geriatrics for a long time in microbiology. The old, the old and the, the young, we can survive it. They don't. So we can have elderly, hopefully not, but I'll put money down that will have elderly die misdiagnosed. They're, they're going to say they died of dehydration, they died of old age, they died of cardiac arrest. All of that due to this flu-like stuff that they're going to be experiencing. And I'm worried about babies. I mean, babies die of it all the time, too. And nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about, you know, I, I feel that I'm a, I'm a business owner. I feel bad for the businesses that are losing their, you know, diving business or whatever. I worry, people come first. My, I can lose my business. I don't want anybody in here to lose anybody that means something to them because of this. And I thanked everybody here. I have a graduate degree in environmental health. The EPA, to get here, uninformed about the Clean Up Water Act, I am wildly disappointed in the representatives that they sent. I'm sorry, it sounds disrespectful. I kind of mean it as being disrespectful. This happened a month ago. We had two holidays in the middle, and that, I called everybody in, in Georgia, I called everybody in the state. I probably talked to 80% of the people at this table by phone. Georgia wouldn't get back to me. I called the EPA, no one would get back to me. Everybody from Florida is so invested in this. And I really am sad that you came here to speak with us about this problem. It violates the Clean Water Act. And you didn't bring, if, I mean, I don't, you can't know everything about everything that you administer, but, but they didn't send somebody from, that's gonna at least explain to us what you've been saying, Senator. Give us answers. Tell us what you can do for us, because obviously these people, these fine people, have been trying for years. I, I, I just, I'm just shocked that it, this is happening this way. And I get it, the wheels of progress go slowly, but from 1990, and you're right, a, a lawsuit will take forever. The feds can get things done. We can't. We can by banding together and, and making noise, and we need to make noise because their hands are tied with bureaucracy. Ours aren't. So I hope that the next meeting, I'll be here with my big mouth again and hoping <laughs> that we can get some answers because we need them. I don't want my neighbors to die. I'm not going to. I had my well tested. It's polluted. <coughs> Who's going to pay for all of us? I have the strength and the know-how to pour my bleach down there and wait 24 hours and then purge the well. My neighbor who's 86 can't do it. Who's going to pay to have this stuff done? Because my neighborhood can't afford <coughs> to have a well company come in and do it. And I like answers to all of that. And even if it didn't do well, like we were told, if we put a new well in the same you, and, and it's contaminated, if we're not doing it, digging another one.